It's in this book right here. That's the original Bible, written in the exact language in which King James translated it. What? They changed it to English. The Catholic Church took books out. Yeah, they did. Okay, but now we have the original, so now it's not changed. That's unfortunate that they don't want to seek understanding. That's not my fault that they don't look for the original Bible. We have it. It's here. It's available. People don't look for it. That's the original. When you look in it, now look, when I show you something. Um, it's in the middle. If you want to, you can just go to the index. There's no, there's no, um, um, there's a lot of things that's in there that's not in the English language. Like the S's are F's. The U's are V's. You understand? There's a lot of, yeah, the J's are I's. So then, yeah, this is English. But it's written in the old English at the time that King James was living. So everything that they use now, like J's and E's and U's, it wasn't really written like that in this book. It was changed to modern language. But this is the original English, the old, old English that they spoke. The four art thou and all that, how it was really spelled. Yeah, just go to the index. You seen it in the index? That don't make it right. That don't make it right. The Quran, the Quran came 500 years after Christ died and resurrected. The Old Testament, the New Testament was already in print. So, what does that mean? That means the prophet had already died and went to heaven and his people was already out there preaching. Where do you think Muhammad learned it from? He couldn't read all right. And the water, and the blood. See, but that's the thing. We don't have a religion. I do not have a religion. My, my nationality is Hebrew. I'm an Israelite. I, I'm, yes, I'm from the tribe of Judah. That's a nationality. A nation of people. Those those people in Israel today are not Jews. They're Jewish. It's like being Muslimish. What are Palestinians? Moab? Ammon. You you're from Ammon. The Palestinians. Ammon. Yes. Ammon is a nation, Moab is a nation. You come from Lot's children. You know who Lot is? They were in the land, but they didn't live in the land of Canaan. Canaan predominantly lived in the land which is Israel today. We pushed Canaan down by the by the um, commandment of the Most High. He said, push Canaan out. Right, I agree with you. I understand what you're saying. Right. But but that land didn't belong to anybody but Shem. Shem had that land. Shem is where Ishmael comes from and where the Caucasians come from and where we come from. So, yeah, they lived in the land, but there's, there's two different nations living in that land together now. The Jewish people which fight against y'all, right? And y'all fighting against them. Neither, it doesn't belong to either one of y'all. It's our land. The Israelites, the Jews, the true nation of Israel according to the scriptures. Huh? It's not Jew. It's not. It's not a Jewish land. The Israel land. Why is it ours? Because the Most High gave it to us. He split the world into three parts. Japheth took Asia and the Japanese lands and everything up there, all the way down to the Caspian Sea. The um, um the Hamites, which is the son of Noah, Shem, Ham, Japheth. Japheth took Asia. Ham took predominantly all of Africa on the west side of the Nile and downward, all the way down to Cape Town. And we took everything on the east side of the Nile up until Babylon and everything else like that. That was our land. Cain took a land he wasn't supposed to have. So they wasn't supposed to be there. The Palestinians came from Lot. When Abraham and Lot left and Lot fled from from um, uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, when he left Gomorrah, he fled that land. His daughters had sex with him because they thought the world was over and they bought Moab and Ammon. And y'all did live in that land because we didn't live there. We was in of Egypt at that time. We was in slavery. So, Judaism today is just a religion. You know that. Anybody can be Jewish. No, I'm from the Jews that went into slavery in Egypt. Yeah, those Jews, yeah. You know Egyptians is dark skin. You know that. You've seen the hieroglyphics. 
How could, how could Moses blend in with them if he looked like these Ashkenazis out here? It's impossible. Even you got more skin tone than them. <laughs> and I've been, yeah, I've been to Africa too. My, me and my brother, we've been there. Right. Right. So, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. He comes from the tribe of Judah. So if he was Judah, yeah, if he was from the tribe of Judah, and they claim to be Jewish, uh, the only nation that can, the, the only tribe in Israel that was a Jew was the, was Judah. My brother here from Benjamin. My brother here from Judah. My, my brother right here from the tribe of Simeon. And we identify ourselves through the curses, not through the gifts. No, nowhere, in the, nowhere in the Torah or the Tanakh do it say the children of Israel will be rich at this day and time. A Jew, because of the first five books of Moses. In Deuteronomy 28, it prophesied the children of Israel if they didn't keep the commandments, as you all know that they didn't, right? They fell, they killed. A lot of them had their hand in killing Christ, right? The Levites and the Romans helped kill Christ, right? Which is in history. They fell. They always kept falling. Though there was an Isaiah and a Moses and a Jeremiah and a Zechariah, there was always the nation as a whole was always falling. The prophecy of them falling was in Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15. You don't keep the commandments, all these curses will come upon you and overtake you. You'll be cursed. Um, I'm not sure. Right. Right. So curse will you be in the field? Curse will you be in the city? Um, your children will be taken from you and given to another nation. They will put a yoke of iron on your neck. You'll be hungry. You'll be thirsty. You'll be in want of all things, as you can see in this community here. Everything is that you could possibly want is here. You will, you will borrow and you will not lend. That means you will have no monetary system. You will be borrowing from the banks. And we all know that the Jewish people own the monetary system. Right? Not only that, you will be taken into Egypt again. And you know Egypt was not the name of the land. In the beginning, it was Mizrahi. Egypt is a Greek word, which means bondage. So they took us into bondage again by way of a ship, and they sold us to our enemies for slave men and slave women. That's the exact scripture in the Bible. That never happened to a Jewish man. You know that. They never went into no slavery. Yes, of course. Right. So. Right. 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 The, the Jewish people actually come from Esau. We push in for everybody, no matter what nation or religion or complexion you are, whether you're black, white, Asian, whatever it is. If you really looking for the truth, we can sit down and teach the truth according to scripture. The idea or the understanding of this is to follow Christ, Jew or Gentile, no matter who you are. Because there's only, Christ is coming back according to the Quran, right? Not Muhammad. So it's important to follow Christ. Because that's who's going to bring forth the new kingdom. It's going to be new Jerusalem. It's not going to be new Babylon. It's not going to be new, new Iraq or Iran. The real Jews will go back. Christ is going to fight for us. Yeah. But see, y'all, the, um, right. But the Muslims are going to fight against the fake Jews. They're not going to fight against us. Because it says it's going to fight against the Jews. It's going to be a war against the Jews and, the, and, and Islam. Yeah. No, it's not. You know why? Because we're not in the land. So how can it be us? You're gonna fight against the people in the land. We are, our, our savior tells us never to go to that land. I know it doesn't. They weren't, just Arabs there, just saying that land's always gonna be Arabs. Right, right, so as long as they are fighting, right, but we not, see our savior doesn't teach us to fight against anybody for our land. So we're not gonna fight against Islam. They, as a matter of fact, and this is a secret, I shouldn't be telling you this, right? It's in the Bible. <laughs> We're not going to be nowhere near that land. We're going to be somewhere else, watching, watching the land fall. And, and even if I tell you, you probably wouldn't understand, but we're going to be in the wilderness. That's what we're going to be. Hiding. Yes, I'm a, I'm a Christian, according to definition. I know. They don't like Rome. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, but y'all gonna be fighting against Christian. You know who Christian is? America. So it's gonna be America and the Ashkenazi Jews that's really gonna be going through the war. Cause what's about to happen with Iran right now? By who? Israel and who else? And America. So it's going to be them two. But you know by prophecy that they're not going to win that war. 
They're going to lose to Ahmadinejad and they're going to lose to Iran. It's prophesied in the Bible and I'm sure if there's, if there's any prophecy in the Quran, that should be one of them. That the Medes and the, the Medes and the Persians are going to be stirred up and we all know that the Medes are Asians. So Ahmadinejad is not even an Arab. He's Asian. He's gonna, they're going to fight against him. They're going to drop bombs on him and he's going to get Russia and Asia and they're going to run through America and, and Israel. And there ain't going to be no fight. And what's left... Y'all are going to destroy those people. Y'all going to, the, the Muslims are going to fight against those people in Israel while they're weak and they can't win. Y'all going to beat them and take the land for a while. And then Asia is going to come against y'all. That's all prophecy, Gog and Magog. Because it's going to be a war over who's going to be the ruling kingdom now. Right. It's going to be crazy. Yeah, everybody's going to be fighting where? In Armageddon, which is a place. All right, bro. You want to take it home? Oh, you're gonna have to. Um, you're gonna have to um, go to Barnes and Nobles. We got it from Barnes and Nobles. No, no, no. You can't keep it though. You can't keep it. That's ours. We just bring it out here so you can see it. Right, so you know what Bible to get. Um, just write down the information on the front, and when you go to Barnes and Nobles, you can buy it. All right. Yeah, pass the trial break. Uh, let me get that in second he said just uh, how the brothers came over here. I see it. Was that? Oh, that's the um. Oh, that's when they did this. Oh, the sacrifice. So, that's the three or three, three. Tabernacles. I'm say sanctuary of your church. Oh, uh, uh, Everybody walk up with Oh, this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, um, yeah, stand in second and second. What's that, um? That's all we know. Was it 12? Yeah, you got it? Yeah. This is how the Spanish tribes got over here to America. It's prophesied in the Bible. Not only is our slavery prophesied, but the Latino tribes are prophesied of coming over here early in the Bible. This is why they took this stuff out, because when you look into the Bible, it identifies the people to a key, to a T. You can't miss it. Yeah, read that for me. Second Esther, chapter 13, verse 40. Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land. There was, there was ten, the um, book says ten, but there was really nine because the ones that was left back was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So there was, there was three tribes left in Israel and Jerusalem. Levi, because John had to come out of Levi, his father Zacharias and his mother Elizabeth were Levites. Okay, Christ was from the tribe of Judah, so Judah was left. 
and Paul was from the tribe of Benjamin, so Benjamin was 